watch, your watches, and your wallet. Ladies and gentlemen, on this stage right now, America's foremost pickpocket, Ricky Dunn. I had the great pleasure of knowing Ricky Dunn. My name is David Avedon. I'm an exhibition pickpocket. Why is this hand closed? This, no, look, this hand on this side. Why is it closed over here? Yeah. Is there a dollar there? That's where it's going to be. That's the amazing part. What's involved in learning to be a pickpocket is learning the techniques of stealing things. It's exactly like playing the piano. Your left hand is doing something different than your right hand. The hardest part is understanding how human beings think. What you're trying to do is suggest to somebody that something totally different is happening at the same time that they're losing their watch, their necktie, and their wallet. That's the skill. I'm trying to find the Statue of Liberty. When I find we that imagine that a street pickpocket is a slick guy who rushes past you and suddenly has your watch and your wallet. Thank the truth so of it is that much. street pickpockets work in teams of at least two, usually three, sometimes four or five, or even more. The things that they do are carefully choreographed so that for just the briefest moment, their mark is distracted. During the course of the show, as I'm doing magic for them, I'm also stealing their watches, their wallets, their belts, their neckties, and their pacemakers, and their liver transplants, and anything else that isn't tied down. Do not use your left hand, use your right hand. Reach in your right side pocket, take out 99, wait, 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 what's it's the penguin? Put your hand up, use your left hand, reach into your pants pocket, take out 99 pants. Do you find the penguin? All the things that I steal, I show to the audience as I'm stealing them. That's what makes it so funny for the audience. It's not like I'd be going to the airport to practice what I do. Ricky's contribution was to take the stand-up comedy and the skill of a pickpocket and put them together into a nightclub act. Trust me, it's going to be in that pocket. Take a good look. Wait a minute. What was your name again? Richard. Richard. See, Richard, ask if he has the money. Just say, hey, Richard. <laughs> he would steal their tie, their belts, their, their, their uh, wallets, and their watches. And, uh, he even had one fellow's ring. I don't know how he got a ring off of himself. Uh, he got his wedding ring off of one fellow. He's stealing everything he got their eyes out of something that was sort of hilarious because he would let sometimes the audience see him doing certain things, you know, um, like taking the tie off and actually you saw that when he whipped it off, but the fellow wouldn't know it. You know, if I knew the act and I was looking for it, I didn't see it. You got to have the money, pal. You see the pocket I told you to come over. Come here, come here. See that pocket I told you to look at a moment ago? In that pocket, see? In that pocket, see if you can find the money. No, no, no. What, what was your name, sir? Doug. You see Doug? Ask me, I say, hey, Dougie! A good market is someone who is not that focused on themselves. That was one of his talents. You have to pick that kind of people. I appreciate pickpocket and sliding him because it's, it's not only a talent, you have to practice, you know, it's a, it's a skill. I love it. Every show is different. Each time I perform is a challenge for me to make that show as exciting as I can, given that I don't know what these guys are going to do and what might happen. <laughs> Unlike street pickpockets, I give back the things I steal for a round of applause at the end of the show. We got phones. Keep them going, keep them going, keep them going. <laughs> We have handkerchiefs for our guys, keep them going, keep them going. We have cards, programs for our guys, keep them going, keep them going. My name is David Avedon. I'm the fastest pickpocket in the West. And you're watching Over the Edge. He tore the place down, it was incredible.